Hey, retro friends, it's time for another mailbag. Today's got to be a pretty quick mailbag because I don't have a lot of battery power, but I only have a few items, so uh, these weren't available when I did the last mailbag, so I'm just going to do them really quickly. So this is mailbag number two. All right, the first item we have is, uh, says, um, well, it's from someone named uh, Tony. And the country of origin is uh, Thailand. And it doesn't really say, oh, it says heat sink three, weight. Uh, okay. So these are uh, probably heat sink adhesive pads and not actually heat sinks because the package isn't thick enough. And there they are, 3M brand double coated tissue tape. So this is for doing uh, some, some heat sinking of the VIC-20 project. What else do we have? Uh, this one says um, heat sink one, I believe this is actually a heat sink. Oh, and it came with adhesive tissue tape. This is Vaughn and uh, again, Thailand. So here we have this first class mail package from MTM Scientific Inc. Let's see what we got here. Um, retro? Wait. PC Retro ROM adapter. Oh, and this is a um, this is a diagnostic, super so soft, landmark diagnostic uh, that I purchased for figuring out what's wrong with my IBM 5150. But I don't think I need it anymore. But I have one in case I might need one in the future. So let's see. This one says uh, it came from. Uh, doesn't say. Uh, oh, uh, New York. All right, New York. Inwood, New York. And we've got two lights, three lights. Yeah, three LED lights, as promised in the last mailbag. Uh, Rampo lighting warranty card. Interesting. Looks like a light bulb. Let's take a look at this real quick. I think these are all different, but they may be all the same. Nope, they are different. So this fits in a standard uh, socket, and it's a corn-style uh, LED light. Uh, it's rose compliant, and it looks like it's pretty bright. Uh, maybe I can switch to it. Oh, there we go. Well, it's not very bright, but it looks cool. But I don't know how cool it really looks. So we've got that, and I might use that for something, who knows? So yeah, this is a nice little lamp, not very bright. Um, basically I want to use it as, you know, even if I don't use the lamp itself, I might be able to use it as some sort of indicator and reprogram the insides with some other LEDs. So that's part of the reason I got these. It wasn't so much to, as I said in the first mailbag, you know, put them in my fans in the house, although I, I might. I, I got some that I did that with. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's not too bad, just as a thing. And I, I wasn't sure from the picture how big these were. So these are the three lamps. I'm trying to these smaller lamps. But, uh, well, that one's actually brighter than the bigger one. Well, yeah, I think that first one I tried, which is the smaller one, is actually brighter. Let's let's try this medium-sized one. And that's kind of in between. It's strange that the smallest one is the brightest. Eh, nah, <laughs> it's in the middle. Okay, got this one again from New York. Probably more lamps. This one comes in a, uh, this is like a pseudo plasticky paper. 
And then inside of that, we've got a, uh, a box of uh, styrofoam. Dear friend, I'm happy, so happy that you received the package. Uh, any problems, including damaged goods or goods missing, feel free to contact us. Alright. And just says, thank you for buying my item. There's no signature on it. Good to know. Let's open this thing. This is a uh, jeweler's... Uh, Jeweler's drill bit that I use when desoldering. Ooh, very cool. This is actually a gift. I think this is a gift. Maybe not though. Let's find out. There's a couple of gifts in here. Oh. All right. So this one feels like it has a metal exterior. And I'm not sure if it's a uh, Edison lamp or an LED lamp. Oh, there we go. So it is an LED lamp. Uh, this is one of those, I think they're called firework bulbs. And it looks like that. And from the side. And basically there's like a mirror a, a, a semi-reflective mirror that causes light to bounce over and over again, giving sort of an affini infinity mirror effect. So yeah, uh, it does that. Pretty cool. What else we got? Not many more. I think only one. There it is. Again from New York. Last one. So I believe this is a, yeah, this is a uh, CF card reader that converts the CF card into IDE. And uh, I do have some computers that I'm going to be doing stuff uh, on that uh, involve this. And you can see it's, it says CF IDE 40. So there are the 39 pin IDEs and there are the 40 pin. And ironically, uh, I received this, which is a CF, or I believe this is a PCMCIA. And this actually has a lot more. It has like 60. So I'm not sure what this is for. And it does say for home or office use on it, but uh, I'm not sure how to use this. It has three connectors, which I'm also not sure about, and it came with a piggyback connector. Uh, I'm, I have no idea, but uh, I, I wasn't able to use this in the application. And then there's this, and getting back to this, you'll see that this fits flawlessly uh, into there. Now, you would never do that. But my point is that it's a 40-pin IDE, and this is actually a 40-pin uh, PCMCIA card reader. Um, anyway, I got two of these. So again, you put a CF card in here, and this acts like a hard drive, and it gives you some, some visual feedback. And you could hang this out of a machine if you wanted to. It requires some power. Uh, to function for some reason, I guess to power the LEDs because IDE does not provide power and it's a 40 pin wide transfer of course uh, IDE has been replaced by SATA although you can still get IDE cards for your computer uh, but anyway there are these and for retro computers this can be helpful Well, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. Uh, everything you saw here today was purchased with my own money. On our Patreon, uh, you can support this channel. I want to keep bringing you these videos. They do take time to produce. And I'll see you next time for another mailbag. <laughs>